I think that the biggest issues with society is we need to ban. I'm a, these are what I would do if I became president tomorrow morning. He's my first act as president. And if you'd vote for me in the 2024 election, let me know. Maybe I'll put a poll out there. First fucking thing I do, ban BLM. Here's why. All lives matter. All lives. If you're going to sell the stupid idea that Black Lives Matter and then go against it, because that's what makes it stupid, by the way, uh, we'll just ban it. Unless you, of course, change to All Lives Matter. I need to see true diversity and inclusiveness for that and actually do something and make people support against police brutality. If you're a lying sack of shit, no more BLM. I mean, it's All Lives Matter, but we don't need to celebrate All Lives Matter either. Do we? we should just know by default that they do. We all matter. Pedophiles, rapists, cartel people, human traffickers, they matter. Which would be my second act as president. So much evidence against that too. But anyway, um, second act would be to outright uh, banning BLM on the Sitchin to All Lives Matter because we all do. All Lives Matter. Second thing, of course, put them in the earth where they belong. The only true purpose in this world that is actually positive is serving as good fertilizer. Uh, it would be a mandatory death sentence. As in, if you actually committed atrocities, you'd be put in a fucking ditch, shot to death with AK-47s and AR-15s, which means I'd be keeping those things for that purpose, and then lit on fucking fire with a flamethrower, and then we just bury the rest. I know. It's inhumane. Guess what? That's going off the window, too. The death penalty is not meant to be humane, okay? You're putting them to death. That means they're not human enough to keep alive. Most people in America are just straight up retarded right now. They're stupid, okay? And here's why. Uh, ignorance is different from stupidity. Ignorance, you're willing to learn. Face facts when they appear. Stupid, you'll deny it no matter what. No matter what is put in front of you, you'll deny the existence of facts. Like you're refusing to learn, basically. Well, uh, here's a big thing in America that a lot of people do not like to learn. They'd rather be stupid. White people did not enslave black people. We brought your asses here and gave you a fucking right. Remember, slavery ended. If you don't like it, why the fuck are you still here? That's the idea. Who enslaved black people? African warlords in Africa. Black people enslaved black people. I have to say it slowly so people might process it, but welcome to woke America. Most people here are just straight up stupid because they don't seem to grasp that concept that's in fucking history books. Oh, that's right. They'd rather wait for the movie, which is always tainted by Hollywood, which is another corrupt place. No wonder you don't learn shit. None of y'all know how to fucking read. And here I am reading big ass fucking novels at the age of five. 210 IQ. Oh, hell yeah. That's why I can know how to read. And that's why I'm not fucking like the rest of America. That's why BLM was so fucking ridiculous. Did they actually care about the facts, history? Did they care about fucking, you know, actually fixing the problem with racism and brutality? No. They'd rather build off the idea and then be super anti-white. They tore down a statue of Jesus. I remember seeing this on the news. And I'm like, they tore it down because he was too white. And I'm like, you realize that makes you, as a black person, extremely racist? If you're a part of that, this guy named Sean King. What a fucking loser. Like, he was one of the heads of BLM at the time, and he he did not like Jesus statues that were looked too white. But to tear down religious statues is like religious hatred. Oh, that's okay because you're black? Or no, no, because you're a member of BLM, the black KKK, essentially. There was a lot of violence and hate towards white Americans by BLM. Straight white man. I'm a man. I'm proud of that. Oh, and a patriot. I'm shit on the fat, too. You know, I don't see why I should hate America. America did nothing wrong to me. American people with a lot of fucking mental problems, they did shit wrong to me. I'm allowed to hate all Americans. I'm allowed to. It's my opinion. I'm allowed to have I'm entitled to it as an American. But we'll look at it America itself. Land of the free, home of the brave. It's never done anything to me to say that I should hate it. Number four. Outright banning of transgender in the United States. Okay, here's why. It's killing our society. 
go to Europe and do it, then come back. If you're already transgender after you, you know, when you get back, I don't care. If they don't let you, that tells you everything you need to know right there. Because we have a trans predator out here mass flagging my videos. Now we got other people doing it too, which by the way, that's not how freedom of speech works. You fucking duh. See, we live in America over here. I don't care how you live over in Nazi Germany or North Korea or, you know, Singapore or China. That's a big one. First of all, fuck China. Their dicks are so fucking small. No, no wonder they're always pissed off and stupid and hostile and communist as fuck. I don't care about China. I don't give two flying fucks. Well, all of, well, all, all of Hollywood is slurping their fucking coom down their throats. I'm over here caring about America. Okay? Just doing what needs to be done here. China does not believe in equality. North Korea does not believe in equality. Nazi Germany never believed in equality. When you sit here and are mass lagging my videos as a tranny and a predator, you're like the Nazis. It does not matter if you chopped off your wang or put in a vagina or lopped off your tits or are a lesbian. It does not matter about that. If you're willing to shut someone else down because you don't like what they have to say, the Nazis did that too. That's my biggest problem with the trans community. In fact, I don't have any respect for any of them. They are less of a human being in my eyes as for what they have done. I've never met a decent one, first of all. Never. Never once have I met one decent, somewhat level-headed, non-psychotic, transgender human being. It's never happened. As a result, what happens to the human mind is you learn to have animosity for those people. MC Nemesis has a deep animosity for them even being alive. I'm not there yet. But I do think that they deserve to lose all of their rights if they're going to act like toxic assholes. Because here's what happens when you go to jail. You lose a lot of your rights along the way. I mean, jail is not a place where you can just walk out, smell fresh air, and have respect by your peers. You know, you're a criminal. A lot of murderers and rapists and other kinds of sexual offenders. Like, I, have to word, I have to choose my words carefully, obviously, now. Like a motherfucker. That's not how freedom of speech works. Because it's, the, it's part of the English language. It's like, what the fuck's the problem here? I'm not allowed to say things. The reason why these people go to prison is because they do terrible things. When they do terrible things, they're no longer like the rest of us. They're no longer a part of society. They're kept in a cage. And they have the trans people, right? All they do is shit on the people, ugly existence. I've never met a good one that can say, you know, you're not a bad guy. No, no. Actually, take me out of the equation. Fuck you, Tibbs. I don't like you at all. But just so it's out there, what they're doing is wrong. I would love to see one trans person get off their fucking ass, look out at the problems with the trans community and say, you know, you're right. That does need change. I know I have no fucking filter. I know I'm an asshole. I know that because I went through so much in life trying to be a decent person. It's very hard to be nice to people when you're just treated like shit for every single sun, including being white. I'm getting sick of that shit. But to the trans people, where the fuck are the good ones? Like, so all they want to do is get with little kids. You know what I mean. And beyond that, bitch about how my body, my choice. Fuck you, you fucking piece of dog shit. And here's why. Your body, your choice, but I'm not allowed to choose if I don't have to wear a mask or have a vaccination. You enforce that shit? Fuck you. I don't care about your opinions or your issues. If you believe something's a problem, that's your opinion. You're allowed to have it. But no, the trans people get a completely, they get a free pass. I only say that because where are the fucking decent ones who call out this behavior? They aren't there. And that's the problem. That, and then also pushing most of their ideas to the children should transition. Seriously, children should transition. Fuck you, okay? Fuck that entire community because it's and by the way do you even deserve a community that idea is based down to the individual trans people don't need a community it's the stupidest fucking thing i've ever heard because the idea of you wanting to be trans and that's fine if you do i don't ever want to know 
If you tell us on this channel that you're trans or want to become trans, you're thrown out of chat. That's going to be a rule now because they can't fucking handle civil conversation. I've also noticed that on this channel too. It's happened plenty of times. Um, but if you're going to force that upon anybody, that's not a community. If it's all bound to your personal decisions, you don't need a community for that. The trans community is a ridiculous idea. And that's not hate speech, which brings me to my next point. Uh, the gay community. I don't want to know if you're gay. If you bring it up on the channel, you're thrown out like a feral dog. To the gay community, why are so many gay people coming here acting like retarded pieces of crap? It just, it's not okay. So if you're trans or gay, I don't want to know. If you tell me, I'm going to throw you out of the chats and you'll never be allowed to come back. To my moderators, enforce that rule. We don't have to know for you to get along and have a civil conversation. We don't have to know if you're gay or trans to get, to get along. That does not define a good conversation or friends amongst people. Sure, you may be trans or gay, but it's not like I'm going to fuck you. Therefore, I don't want to know. I also am going to heavily start restricting sexual discussion in the chats because a lot of these toxic pieces of crap really keep going about that, and that does bother me. Not because I'm asexual or don't like sex. I mean, I'm a man. Of course I love sex. But man does not like or love sex. It's a good feeling. As adults on an adult channel, we can say it. We can talk about this like this, okay? But at the same time, I don't need to know what you do in the bedroom because that's your own personal business. If you cannot control yourself, we'll throw you out like feral dogs because it's getting to that point. I will enjoy my game without seeing a guy and his buddies talk about sucking dick and this and that and boy toys. I don't fucking care. Okay, if you're a pedophile, let us know. We'll put you on the list. That simple. But beyond that, we don't need to know. People acting fucking stupid over stupid things, and usually it's all been the shit since 2020. Like, I get it. A lot of scumbags came to light after 2020, and you see a lot more of them now because everything's now online. Like, everything. And that's good. We know where the shitty motherfuckers are at, but we don't need to see it here. Number five. I would just drop a fucking nuke on China. I know. I know. I know what that sounds like. I would. I'm not going to, though. Uh, it would be a complete invasion of the Chinese <laughs> country. I'm serious. China's communist. We need more freedom in the world. North Korea, China. Uh, who else is communist or fucking criminal as fuck these days by human nature alone? We just take over. United States, United Planet. I love it. Um, <laughs> and then finally, Nathan, you're really saying really good. Really, really, really good. Cancel the IRS. Cancel culture. You have one job. And if you don't succeed, you're done. Cancel the IRS. Fuck that shit. No more taxes. Fuck China. It's like six simple little things, but I imagine it might go well. We'll make our own currency if we need to. We'll become a utopia that's in a better way than utopias ever were. <laughs> Who's the nigger now?